In this video, we will look at how you can adjust your mouse pointer size and color. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, if you're making a how-to video screen recording, making your mouse larger makes it easier for your audience to see where you're moving it around. Also, if you're a teacher and you're teaching remotely in distance learning, and you're constantly doing screen shares and moving your mouse around, again, it's a lot easier for your students to see your mouse, see where you're moving and where you're clicking. And then finally, if you're like me and your eyes are getting bad and it's just hard to find your mouse, <laughs> then it's another good reason to adjust the mouse size and color. All right, so how do we do this? Okay, so here I am on my desktop. And in order to bring up my mouse settings, I'm going to go down to the search field at the bottom left here. And I'm going to type in mouse. M-O-U-S-E. Now, what we'll see here at the top is mouse settings. You also might find change mouse pointer size. This will take you directly to the setting that you want. But if you don't see this, go ahead and click on mouse settings. All right, so that will bring up the mouse settings control panel. And what you'll need to do is over here to the right, you're going to see related settings. Adjust mouse and cursor size. So we're going to click on this link. And we will see change pointer size and color. So here, the first thing you see is this slider. You'll go ahead and click and hold and drag this slider to increase the size of your mouse or decrease it. And you'll see it increase in real time as you adjust. For me, I set mine on size three. It's not too big and too crazy, but it's big enough for me to see and the audience seems to appreciate it as well. Down below that, you're gonna see change pointer color. As you can see, by default, your mouse is white with a black border. You can choose a black mouse with a white border, or you can choose an inverted mouse, which will change black or white depending on the background. So the idea behind this is to provide a nice, clear contrast to make it easy to find your mouse. Now the last one is custom color. So we're going to click on custom and we will get custom colors that pop up here down below. So I can choose uh, any color I'd like that's suitable for me and stands out. If you're not happy with any of these seven default colors, you can come down here to pick a custom pointer color. And this will allow you to click and choose all kinds of color variations. You can even select a color and then drag the slider to make it darker. And when you're happy with what you find, you can go ahead and click on Done. And this will change your mouse color and you can add it here to your choices down below. And that is it. You don't have to click save. You don't have to pass go. And you are ready to go. All you have to do is close this window and that setting will stick. All right. And that is how you adjust your mouse color and size.